Indiana's Department of Education is under investigation tonight. There are questions about how our state supported special education students during the pandemic. We've learned about dozens of complaints filed over the last six months. And tonight, our 13 Investigates team hears from one Hamilton Southeastern parent whose complaint is now under review. He needs really like one-on-one, -on -one, hand over hand instructions. That's the way it's always been for Aaron Digg's son, Dylan, born with cerebral palsy. The 10 year old is nonverbal and doesn't have the use of his arms or legs. His whole support, his whole life is kind of surrounded by the school support system that we have in place. A support system that became all virtual when COVID-19 hit last March. And he was very upset and distressed by um, virtual learning, like to the point where he's pulling his hair out. Deg says she tried several times to reach out to the district to ask how they plan to accommodate Dylan after learning the district would continue with virtual learning in the fall. And we were getting nowhere. And at the time, all of the sports were in person at the school full time, but my son couldn't get his physical therapy. So Deg filed a complaint with the Indiana Department of Education. Within days, Dylan was back in school. We appreciated the cooperation from the school, but litigation shouldn't have had to happen. Turns out Dylan's case wasn't unique. This week, the Indiana Department of Education got a letter from the U.S. Department of Education putting it on notice. The federal government is looking into how the state handled complaints involving students with disabilities and their access to educational services during the COVID-19 crisis. The state's new Secretary of Education, Dr. Katie Jenner, just started this past Monday, but in a statement, pledged to look into all the complaints and support schools in meeting the needs of students who receive special education. A spokesperson for the state's DOE says since last July, they've received 72 complaints involving students with special education needs. 26 of those complaints have received hearings and are related to the pandemic. You got it, come on. Deg says her attorney has told her her complaint is under review by the U.S. Department of Education. This mother says she's ready to be her son's voice again, this time to the federal government. We would be welcome to cooperate and, you know, have a seat at the table to see how we can make things better for everyone. We've had some flurries in downtown Indianapolis on this Friday night. And Angela, we have